people. Yeah. We love hip hop. I first of all, I appreciate say? everybody, all the kind comments, all the kind words from everybody regarding the 20th anniversary of Push It Up. I appreciate that. It made my year straight. Big tune. Seeing everybody reminisce. I figured with this comment, story time is necessary. It's been a long time since a lot of you have seen me. I've been laying low. Yo, what's up with extent. this smile, bro? I took a different road <laughs> some years back, over a decade back, when I, re when I decided to remove myself from music as a recording artist. Well, let's start from the beginning then. Oh my God. 18 year old me puts out a song called Push It Up. I had just signed a deal. Well, before that, let's go, let's start a little bit before that. Oh. Uh, I think I was about just turning 17. Before Push It Up, I put out a song called Hypnotic with my brother. Big up Scotch, ah, the person that taught me how to do music, how to talk about the and all them thing there. Mm. Anyways, I put out a song called Hypnotic in the streets. Back then we were producing and for a lot of the local acts in the city, we're producing for JB, we're producing for man like Don Million, we're producing for a lot of the local men, you know, for, for the smugglers, big up Jane and Finch, big up Driftwood, you know, big up, big up everybody in the East End that we hold were on, working on. I don't, I don't mean to... Um, stop the man, but um, there was something that he was posting that had gotten me, gotten my attention. Okay, this right here. Real at times, you know, like I overdosed. Yeah, part two. I signed a publishing deal with Warner Chapel Music in the States. I was working on an album. And in that time of working on that album, I was just all over the place, man. I was all over the place. Even even when I won that Much Music Award, like I was in, I was in that building. Like there, you know, you do you do press after you win, doing press, and I was just drunk and I didn't give a. F and I was just like, man, y'all don't care. But I was I was deep in my pain body. Shout out to Eckhart Tolle. This pain between body. 2009 and 2013. No matter what I was doing, I wasn't. I didn't think it was good enough. The fact that I'm still here today to talk about this is a miracle, straight up. It got real at times. You know, like I overdosed on uh, on uh, MA, mm. and I was near death for a minute. Doing doing interviews, doing radio interviews, barely able to talk during the recovery phase of that of that of that overdose. Bro, and uh, did you know this, bro? Yeah, you knew all about about the the. The man ODing and stuff, fam. This but is not in a not in somebody telling me it in a malicious way. So mm -hmm. I always held it down. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, I, I'm not gonna put. A, I know Digger in a certain way, and I know his brother Scotch, right? So mm -hmm. I never, I would never. You know what I mean? A man's business is a man's business. If you get to see it like that, then you got to see it like that. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like some BTS, some behind the scenes. You saw. Very much so. There's a lot of behind the scenes that I would never. You know what I mean? Like yeah, other yeah, reasons, like yeah. we were talking about last night too. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like behind the <laughs> effing scenes. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, I know one's... some things, dog. You know, and I was there. <laughs> but anyways, but that behind the scenes get crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, fam. I somebody sent me this clip um on Instagram in the DMs. Yeah, and this is on TikTok that Diggs has been getting this getting this shit off, right? Mm -hmm. I had no idea that he was like he's saying that during those much music times when yeah. like, he was running around doing interviews and stuff like he was he was zonked out of his mind. Zooming. Wow. Why not? But I get I get it. I get it at that time because you see the thing with music, I feel mm. it's a it's a self-destruction industry. It's a self-destructing um, energy. Yeah. Yeah. Now. The ones like Jay Z who make it on that level is because he didn't drink, mm. he didn't smoke, or well, he didn't excessively drink. He didn't and excessively smoke. Yeah. drink, and if he did, you've never seen him drunk. Mm -hmm. And that that is the thing. A lot of people use the substances to elevate their mind. Yeah, to bring their music to. I'm telling you the truth. People who do drugs and make music make better music than guys who just smoke weed. I'm just being 100. Yeah, okay. no, you're not wrong. Like Jimi Hendrix, all these different people. I don't want to listen to a rapper that 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 just smoked weed. But I, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give it a rapper that gets lit. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to be talking something lit. 
Don't do drugs, kids. Right? But don't do drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs at all, right? But I'm saying that is the element of it. Yeah, so I believe yeah. that a lot of a lot of artists can get stuck in that while they're making, creating these albums and stuff like that. Mm. They indulge in a lot of extracurricular activities that may not they may not be able to come back from. Yeah, because now you're too deep into the bottle. You're too deep now into the the soft. You're too deep now into the into the MDMA. You're too deep. Yeah, and because, and part of the reason too is because you get a lot of freebies, like. You go to a, free drugs, though. but not just free drugs, but if it's alcohol, that's your thing. Yeah. You go to, to jams. Everybody's giving you drinks, drinks. free. Right. Um, you go and you do a show. It's on your rider. I need this amount of bottles of liquor. Yeah. I need this amount of uh, a, a 24 pack of beer in, beer. The, in yeah. my dressing room. Yeah. It's like just part of your regular everyday thing. So yeah. you're not even out there actively trying to buy liquor. People are giving it, it to you. you. And you, you're not supposed to take free drugs, but. People are giving them people, hey, yeah. I love your music, bro. Hey, here's some stuff. If you know that weed is your thing of choice, yeah. I've been got I've got mad free weed over the years where people are just like, yo, love what you do. Boom, here's a handful of chronic. Yeah, for sure. Right? For like sure. I, I, I smoke places. it most of the time. Yeah. I, somebody could lace me one day, bro. <laughs> I was always thinking like that. And I was like, you know what? This is where your skin falls off your yeah, body. Yeah, and them the, ones. the man then would look at it and say, We are on weed, dog. Just hold it. But if people it, want to show love. It, it just goes into the like, if you want to indulge as you start getting popular, yeah. it's very easy. There's not, there's nothing really, there's no boundaries stopping you from indulging as much as you want. Definitely not. You know what I'm saying? But now, what do you, what do you feel about this? Like, you've seen this and someone's sending it to you. Like, what did, what, what do you get out of this? What did you get out of that? I think he's, he's trying to send a message out there to, to people like, yo, don't fall into the same things that I did type yeah. of Yes. And yeah, it's I, it's it's weird because he's he's obviously not as popular anymore for music. He doesn't make music anymore. But he makes but. some dope ass videos. Yeah, yeah. He's uh-huh. director digs now. Right? Yeah, he's director, right? And he has a good relationship to X. Mm. So you know what I mean? That is the best uh route he did take because he knows doing the music leads to him into self-destruction a little bit more yeah. than if he's just okay let me come up with a, a treatment for a video now yeah and i'm not every day in the studio around rappers drinking smoking mm-hmm. doing their damn thing you know what i'm saying and necessity yeah right? and, and I, there's I, a I spotlight thing like you could be in the spotlight you're doing all of this, the drugs and everything that people are giving you mm-hmm. and that's cool but then now when you're falling from grace or falling from the spotlight Decline. you're doing those same drugs to cope with the fact that you're you, falling off. You're gonna you're gonna mush up yourself even worse. Yeah, then it gets messy, bro. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Take the whole world's against you. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, I just wanted to to bring that up quick, fast because like people keep on sending me like, yo, do you see what Diggs is up to? Yeah, but he's not on drugs, guys. He's not on drugs now. Not now. Definitely yeah. not. I just okay. never knew he was before. <laughs> yeah, but like all of the whole industry on this stuff, yeah. man. They all on smack, man. Niggas is doing heroin. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. Come on, dog. That's straight facts. That rapper the other day, like, Friday, who is this guy? Who, who said that? You know, bro. But anyways, acting like mans can't see the thing on Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm, I don't be on this. I don't be on I, Exactly. Snapchat. I'm not on Snapchat, but they were trying to, like, be um sneaky. Oh, uh, somebody was dissing. Couldn't diss who? Themselves. I didn't see dissing. it. I didn't see it. The only way you can diss me is if you call me directly on my Instagram or call me on my phone and, and ask me who I am. And we'll run down the resume. Mm. And I think Friday would run down my resume too a little bit. I've done a lot. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways, we'll go on from there. That was just my little sidestep. You already <laughs> done know. My name know who I am. Stop it. <laughs> what he knows what blood clad Dusty Wallace is in the damn city. Scary Potter. And scary. Get scary. Spooky. Let's start this shit off. We love hip hop.